Okay, so this is the 2019 Whale water heater and heater control panel. So there's three buttons here. Okay, this one is your mains button that turns on all the power in the caravan. This one is your ceiling light. This one is your awning light. So if you turn that on, it turns the power on, it turns your control panel on. If we press the middle button, all the ceiling lights come on. As you can see, they're all on. And if you press the right hand button, the awning light comes on. So we'll turn that one off. We don't need that in the daytime. Right, so this is your heater and water heater control panel. So here we have room heater. Here we have water heater. We have the water pump button. We have a timer button. And this little thing here shows how many volts are in the battery and how many are just above that. You can see we've got a mains lead plug showing that we've got mains plugged in and currently we're using zero amps. So first things first, press the pump. Pump is ready, okay? That means there's power going to the water pump that you've just plugged in outside and dropped into your water barrel. The water pump, just for traveling, we've popped in your sink. So the first thing you do is run some water on all the taps, cold first and then hot. If you've drained the system like we have previously, then it will take a minute or so for the water to come through. But make sure water's coming out of all the taps and the shower on both sides. So, press the water heater. Now, you've got four settings on the left and a couple of settings on the right. So first of all, if it's green, that's the button that's selected. So currently it's off. So you have 3.3 amps of power on mains, okay? So if you press that button, it will heat the water to 70 degrees, okay, using 3.3 amps. If you press eco, it will use a little bit less power, but it will only heat the water to around about 50 degrees, okay? And when you want to turn it off, you turn it off. It takes about 20 minutes, half an hour to heat the water fully. Frost, the little ice button there, that, if you press it, it will keep the water heater free of frost over your winter if you're plugged into mains. You must be plugged into mains. So if you keep the caravan at home, it's worth uh, plugging it into the mains, popping your frost protection on, and that will stop any frost being uh, causing any damage. You do need to drain the system, nevertheless. If you want to use the water heater on gas, you press that one. Okay, that will light the water heater on gas. Again, 20 minutes or so, it'll be up to temperature. And if you want a, a timed boost, so say there's two or three of you wanting to have a shower, um, the second one or the third one can quickly heat the water if you're on mains using 6.5 amps. Okay. In the settings menu, there is uh, a timer that you can set the timer. So you can have 15 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, this set, set up at the moment, you just have to turn the gas off when you've used the water heater on gas. Okay, so when you're finished, just turn it off and that will knock the, the water heater off on the gas. This button at the bottom is your back button. So when it's flashing blue, it's absolutely fine. It just means that everything's working as it should. If it's flashing red, it doesn't mean it's a warning, okay? It just means that the gas is lit, okay? So we press the back button to go back to the main screen. Okay, so currently in here it's 16 degrees C. So again, you've got some varying controls. On the left-hand side, you've got heating, the room heater on mains. You've got the room heater on gas. You've got the room heater on both gas and mains and you've got off. So quite useful to know how many amps you're using, especially if you're on a, a small site. I would suggest not to use the 11.3 amps. It can be a little high for most campsites. 
So heating, I would suggest one or two, okay? One or two bar. You can up the temperature to up to 35 degrees by just pressing the plus and minus, or you can have it down to five. Now it said 16 degrees on the uh, previous screen, so we'll put it up to 20. So now the room heater will get up to 20 degrees, okay? If you want to use it on gas, you just press the flame button. If you want a quick, uh, the heater to, to heat the room a lot quicker, you press that one. That will use a mixture of gas and mains. Okay. If in the summer it gets really hot in here, um, open the windows and the skylights and push your fan button. Okay, that will just kick the fan in and move some air around. It won't be like an air conditioning, but it will cool the air naturally. Okay, it will move the air around naturally. In the winter, again, if you saw the caravan at home and you've got it plugged into mains, you can press that button there. That will keep the caravan at around about uh, 8 degrees, maybe 12 degrees, just to keep it from having any frost issues, okay? But you must be plugged into mains. So we'll press the back button again. Okay, so by pressing and holding that button, we go into the settings menu. So installer buttons are there you shouldn't those three buttons there you shouldn't need to worry about but you can on these four here you can have a water timer so currently the water timer is off you can change it if you want you can have a room timer in the same way you can set the clock okay And you've got some more options. Okay, so currently we're on main supply 16 amps. You can set the brightness of this screen. You can have the water boost time on for on forever. As I said, you can have it for three minutes. Uh, sorry, you can have it for 60 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes until it will turn itself off on the gas or the mains, okay? I usually leave it on forever, timer, and then just turn the gas off or the uh, water heater off when I'm not using it. Next one, this screen will turn off after three minutes. You can change that to five or whatever you want, okay? You can turn the beep off, the button beep. You can turn that flashing light off if you want, okay? And say you can set if you're on a site that only gives you say 10 amps you could set it to 10 amps and it will give you a warning of how many amps you're using okay compared to what you're given and then back to the home screen so when you come to uh, pack away make sure that your two buttons here are off make sure your pump is off and neither of these are green 